Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Devour Italian Sausage Lasagna, which sounds awesome. I love lasagna. Um, it's lasagna layered with mozzarella and ricotta cheese, an Italian sausage, and a rich marinara sauce. These were $3 at, at Kroger, which I don't think is bad at all. They also sell them at Meijer, too. So if you go to Kroger or Meijer, um, you can find them in your area. Walmart does not sell them. At least ours doesn't. So it's 600 calories for the entire thing. I didn't eat breakfast this morning, so I saved up my calories. Um, there's your other information for you. So you can do it in the oven if you want to. Um, probably is really good in the oven. Probably a little bit of Christmas to it, but uh, but we don't do the oven. We only do microwave. So we're going to remove the tray, poke holes in the center of the film to vent, um, cook on high for four minutes. That's interesting. Um, okay. Uh, remove the cover completely and put back in the microwave for another four minutes. So that's actually not bad because, well, eight minutes total, that's about typical for a, a um, um, lasagna meal. It usually takes a little while longer. So poke holes in it, four minutes on high, and then remove the film and then do another four minutes uh, on high. And then it's basically that set for a minute or two and then it's ready to go. I may... I may, depending on how much sauce is on top, I may just put a piece of paper towel like over top of it to keep it from splattering all over the microwave because I don't really want to have to clean my microwave out. But um, this is what it looks like. It's pretty, I mean, it's a pretty heavy meal. This is uh, 12 and a half ounces of food. So it's, it's pretty thick. So I'm going to poke some holes in here and get it in the microwave and I'll be back. Okay, right, here it is on the microwave. and Not much I can do with it, but... Pretty, got um, pasta pretty much all the way to the edges. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna let this cool all a bit because it's uh, super hot. And I'll probably try to cut some of this with a fork. If I can't get it with a fork, I'll get a knife out, but I'll let you know if it's cuttable with a fork. Um, then I'll do that. Okay, it's had probably a minute to cool off. So um, I was able to cut it with a fork, um, but I got a metal fork. If you have a plastic fork, you may want to get a knife a plastic knife, um, just to cut it a little bit easier because it did. I did have to kind of saw it a little bit with my fork, so just let you know that. Um, also, I thought about covering it with paper towel after I took the plastic off. Ended up not doing that because the paper towel, all it would do is would have sat down in the middle and all the cheese would have gotten stuck to it, and I didn't want that to happen either. It did splatter just a little bit, maybe four or five spots here and there, but but it wasn't bad. It wasn't like it, it was all over the place exploding. So at least that was my experience. You may put it in there and have some blowing up all over the place. So. Uh, we'll we'll see. So anyway, now that piece was on the edge. I mean, literally a corner. Um, the edges were a little tough. Uh, the pasta was. The flavor is really really good. It's um, the sauce has a little bit of a sweetness to it, like a really good a tomatoey sweetness, but. Um, but you get that savoriness of the sausage, that that safe, that sausagey kind of uh, flavor. Um, so you've got a good mix of sweet and uh, savory spice. Um, it's really good. The only, like I said, my only complaint was the the pasta was kind of hard on the edges. Um, let me take one more towards the middle. It's not hard. But it is firm. It's not cooked as much as as, um, as maybe it could be. But but then again, you, you don't want to push it too soft because uh, lasagna should hold up pretty well. So I don't have a problem with that. It, it, it's really good to me. Um, Texture-wise, is really good. There's tons of sausage in here. Um, quite a bit of pasta. I think there's probably at least two, if not three, layers of pasta in here. Um, no, there's two. There's two layers of lasagna pasta. It looks like they put a little bit of sauce, a layer of lasagna noodles, and then they put meat and sauce and maybe a little bit of cheese. I can't tell. And then another layer of pasta. And then they put a layer of cheese. And they put another layer of pasta. So it does have three. And then they put another layer of sausage and sauce and cheese. So um, it's full of ingredients. I do have to say that. Um, overall, pretty good meal. I would I would eat this again. Um, is it the best lasagna out there? I don't know. Maybe. It's really good. Um, I'm going to give this one... Hmm. I hesitate to give it a five because it's not something I would eat all the time, uh, but there's nothing wrong with it at all. So I'm going to I'm gonna go more for a four and a half. It's not something I would eat all the time. I wish the pasta was a little bit softer, um, but it does have a really good um, uh, lasagna flavor. Uh, maybe it's the Italian sausage. I don't know. I, I usually eat mine um, with um, hamburger instead of sausage. So um, I don't know. Maybe that makes a little bit of a difference. But anyway, 
I'm not complaining about it. It's really, really good. Four and a half all day long. If you get this, try it out. I think you'll really like it. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.